Mabilis na tumas ang tubig na halos inabot ng sampung talampakan. Walang kuryente sa Tacloban City, hindi rin gumagana Video ang telepono. Video into CNN shows the first moments when the storm hit early Friday and scenes of desperation in the hours immediately afterward. Some of these people can barely keep their heads above water. The mayor of Tacloban and his family were inside this structure, stood on tables to avoid the surge, then had to punch holes in the ceiling and climb to the rafters to survive. The mayor now says, quote, I have not spoken to anyone who has not lost someone, and his constituents are desperate. The storm's massive surge is blamed for much of the devastation. In Tacloban alone, nearly 2,000 residential buildings, more than half the city, either heavily damaged or destroyed. A barren wasteland of hunger and filth, little medicine or sanitation, and the unmistakable stench of death. And people like Dennis, who lost his sister, are amongst the many forced to bury their loved ones. She drowned during the typhoon, and we found her body all the way over there. And we have so many sick people around going for treatment to Cebu. We have amputee, an amputee there on a wheelchair. We have some for dialysis. We have children. We have one with fracture. I really want to see them, she says, even if it's just their bodies. She has found the body of her husband and shows us the bodies of three of her children. They're gone. They're all gone, he says. Mama! I don't know why this happened to me. Happy birthday, And I struggle to find words to describe how I feel about the losses. Filipino people, the people of Tacloban and Samar and Cebu and all these places uh, where so many have died, they are strong not just to have survived this storm, but they are strong to have survived the aftermath of this storm. They have survived for a week now, often with very little food, with very little water, with very little medica medical attention. Can you imagine the strength it takes to be living in a, in a shack, to be living, sleeping on the streets next to the body of your dead children? Can you imagine that strength? I can't. And I've seen that strength day in and day out here in the Philippines and we honor them with every broadcast that we do. Drunken hearts Guess he kissed the girls And made them cry Those hard-faced queens Of misadventure God knows what Is hiding in those Weak and sunken lights Fiery thrones Of muted angels Giving love but getting Nothing back Oh, people Help the people
Oh, and if I had to bring, I'd be cold as a stone and rich as a fool. It turned all those good hearts away.